I'm Johnny, banking systems engineer Termel, and lesson 34 is more on the resurgence of Argentina's economy from 2004, early in the year, a Spanish report translated into English by Alejandro. Neo Barter in Latin America, an article I wrote in 2004, February 3rd, from a Spanish article that had been translated, and uh, it's titled Time of Neo Truque in Latin America Social Currencies and Environmental Commodities. For the last years, the economic impact of neoliberalism has multiplied as never before the social problems and degraded the quality of citizens' life particularly in the big cities. The traditional social policies have lost effectiveness and the civil society is emerging as a new actor who occupy new spaces. The use of social monies or biocurrencies in the market of the environmental commodities may mobilize the untapped capacity of each community. In fact, social money integrates into the market activities until then considered as unproductive in two words, creates work, employment. These new monetary tools assume a subsidiary approach. They don't compete with the money of legal tender. Sure they do. And on, co on the contrary, the combination of the two monetary systems can provide the democratic system with new thresholds of sustainable governability in accordance with the principles of the Agenda 21 from the United Nations. Toward a system of biocurrencies in Latin America. Today, the world witnesses a new global phenomenon, the emergence of no money economies. Not true. You need an accounting unit. You just don't call it money, but it does the function of money. As well as electronic economies, electronic credits, where the macroeconomic policies usually failed. More than ha a half of the production, consumption, exchanges, investments, and savings in the world are created and organized outside the official monetary economy. Well, I'd like to know where you got those numbers. The new technologies of information and communications now enable citizens and institutions to bypass the monopoly of money. Yes, legal tender. And to make directly sophisticated agreements of barter and trade without using their chips. Remember my first two-line poem, why represent our collateral with their chips for a fee when we can represent our collateral and trade our collateral with our chips for free? These new technologies of information have, that have come to transform the markets for the last decades of the millennium make now possible an exchange of goods and services without the intermediation of an independent coinage that is administered by a central bank at interest. Money and information are now equivalent. True, trading credits around. In fact, the second one have become the most important world currency. A global civil society made up of electronically connected citizens put a check on the dominant global market logic. It challenged the corporations and questioned the global monopoly of money. See what unleashing let software on the world did 25 years ago? All around the world, initiatives are increasing, and in many countries, people bring support to the proposals of the United Nations for a civic interest currency, a social money. Well, Resolution C6 says restructure the global financial architecture with a time-based currency from my presentation of the United Nations. Yes, sir. Um, among the better known systems in the world, we can mention the Swiss Weir, the Canadian Let's, Danish Jack, the German BCI Barter Clearing Information, and the North American Ithaca Hours. The name comes from the homonymous city where this system is implemented, and i.e. ethical investments. And in Latin America, many redes de Trueque Barter Network. These models differ as for their function, savings and loaning on one hand, exchange and services on the other, and with LETS you can do both. And as for their action field, local, regional, national, or international size databases, they launched a process to enable the creation of a currency or suitable currencies, an inflation and interest-free currency. And if you have no interest, the Termel Miracle Equation says you can't have inflation because the chips are backed up by the collateral and the cake. They launched, yes, the, the past records 
lie in the 30s when followers of free economy began with experiences in France, Germany, Spain, Switzerland, USA, and especially in Austria in the city of Wargold in 1932. All those systems are still in effect in nowadays. Actually, it was banned in 1932 by their judges who said you're not allowed to employ everybody with this new kind of money. you got to ban it, and they did. So if it's back, wonderful. If the bank system cannot offer the chips required to complete our transactions, then local alternative chips and systems of information can fill this gap thanks to a local currency. Registered through ECI and exchange, save and loan associations are embryos of a new economy that already mobilizes annually the equivalent of thousands of millions of dollars. Only in Argentina, and according to the Ministry of the Economy that declares through ECI national interest, there were until August of 2002, more than 7,000 clubs with approximately 10 million members. The New York Times, May 6, 2001, wrote that a million Argentinian people had an active participation in these networks through transactions that reached more than 400 million U.S. dollars per year, confirmed by the publisher of the Gazette Mercantile Latin America, Marma Helena Tacinardi, in the Brazilian edition of the 13th of June 1st of June 1st. While in Argentina, the national secretary of the small and medium companies provides these networks with necessary technical and legal advice since last December, other regional governments, as the state of Rio de Janeiro, some cities in Latin America like Buenos Aires and Sao Paulo, and numerous municipalities follow the same road. This road is considered as an immediate strategy to face unemployment and lack of liquidity, which are some consequences of the dramatic economic crisis the region is facing. So if the ship is foundering, build yourselves a lifeboat. And Let's is the blueprint. And Unilets is the final edition. Clubs de Fidiel de Troike constitute a symptom a model of community management and its corresponding market. That is to say, hardly the first steps on the way of a future healthy economic system. Well, of course it's the first steps, if we stay on it till it's complete. It's social money, the credito, has a limited area of validity, only because he says so, but everybody knows it's good for something. All the commercial transactions encourage the development of local resources. Its growth potential is auto-regulated because it depends on a number of transactions that the system can absorb. In other words, you can't get more pay than you can bring trees to the cashier that you cut down. You can't get more pay than you can bring tons of coal to the cashier that you dug out of the ground. So there's a limit to how much stuff you can deliver to get chips for. A natural limit, not dependent on savings. But mainly it favors reactivation of the domestic market, regional production, full employment, and general welfare. We are talking about a society of information with local bases, and we imagine an interregional safety clause with active participation of the municipalities and grounded on a rational administration of the resources and a community access to the TICs. So the Trueke Barter Associations have inverted the principles of the effective bank system. They reward those that exchange goods and services with interest-free money, and they punish those who mobilize their surplus money. Well, actually, there's no problem. They don't get punished. They just don't get any interest. I don't call that punishment. The money doesn't inflate anymore. So, compensatory chambers can operate as an interface between the legal tender and this interest-free monetary system, which offers the same possibilities as the previous one. Exchange, loan, and saving. The CIPAL gives a technical help to this process, e in whatever Latin, I suppose, and it proposes a theoretical mark for a currency without inflation or nor interest. Any other concept that could be an interface is the concept of biocurrencies with backing in environmental commodities. Water, energy, forest, agriculture. That's right. Every country, all they got to do is buy in with an IOU for their natural resources because they don't have natural resources on their books, most countries. They're just left out there as a zero so the governments can consider themselves in debt. So while game rules are being defined, many companies are already trying to accumulate environmental credits. Easy solution, good article.